Hi everyone, I'm Sonia Trivedi, Communications Manager at Muro, and we are at the final day of Muro Mood Global 2023. Today I have with me Andreas Ripo, Head of National Competency Center eEducation Austria. Hi Andreas, how are you doing Hi, today? Fine, how are you? Great, thank you very much. Is it your first Muro Mood? Uh, actually, no, it's my third. That's amazing. So you have a lot of experience, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Today you had a really interesting talk about e-education and edu video, an Austrian success story, and I'm keen to learn more about it. Could you please tell me more about the project? How, when did it start? Like, what are the specifics and everything that you would like to uh, present? Sure. So, um, we've been experimenting uh, uh, as the rest of the world with different learning uh, management systems and uh, digital solutions in the past 20-30 years. Uh, but uh, we've come to a situation that uh, this has been reduced to several platforms in use. And the biggest installation of Moodle, we have one centralized installation, is called Individual, which is hosted by the Federal Ministry of Education itself in one of their server farms. And uh, today, I tried to emphasize on the second aspect, not uh, only technology, but that we have a framework of teachers participating. We have a total of 6,000 schools in Austria, and 78%, uh, which is a little over, uh, let's say, 4,000 to 4,500 schools, participate in this e-education network. So 78% of all teachers and students are in this network, and they can access all these materials, platforms, with sort of a single sign-on, and uh, access all uh, resources that are available within the system free of charge. Sounds really impressive, 6,000 schools. How do you plan to grow the number in the future? Do you plan to add more to the network? Uh, well, actually, uh, it has become um, uh, quite stable. We are, of course, concentrated on Austria, and uh, let's say the, the schools that are still missing are sometimes often related to primary level where sometimes um, uh, a principal takes the decision not to take the digital path right away. So that's perfectly okay for us. Uh, so where we uh, see the potential at the moment is, of course, trying to sort of onboard every teacher in each school because that's yet a different story to take a look at how many people within an uh, organization actively use the tools and then also have possibilities to enter the idea of digitalization and education at uh, a low level and then show the development. And this is then classroom work and what are the steps to take and also further teacher education uh, that is related to this so they will be able to manage. Okay, okay. So you touched a little bit uh, about the topic, but I want to ask you more, like how does the platform help schools provide uh, more and better learning opportunities? If you can tell a bit yes. more about the benefits. Um, yeah. Of course, um, uh, Moodle being a system uh, that offers, uh, on one hand, many different ways of how you can work your pedagogy, how you have your didactics, uh, and many reflection possibilities. Also then reaching back uh, uh, in the past, seeing how a development uh, is done for a learner. Uh, this is everything no other platform I know of does it uh, this good way. And this is where we can show the perspective, what a teacher can reach, but also giving them an entry point so they're not overwhelmed. And, uh, but then, of course, it's of great use, especially if you address competency-based education, because uh, then it ha becomes a very clear structure where uh, you position yourself at the beginning of your learning process and uh, to which direction you have to develop. And then uh, you have all this full, rich functionality of Moodle that helps enhance and display this and show where you are on your path. Okay, great to know that. And uh, you already mentioned a bit about the benefits and how the platform is helpful, but do we have some concrete results that we can share? Have you measured the impact? Uh, well, we do have uh, our numbers and we see in general uh, a, a big improvement uh, 
uh, in uh, alone schools participating in our network and uh, seeing how uh, teachers tackle new situations, like for example AI. Uh, we have two big yearly conferences, uh, one is in uh, March, one is in November. And in March, we had uh, or we concentrated on AI, and it was so uh, easy how the teachers found solutions and ways of using it uh, interactively in their in their uh, teaching. Uh, that uh, you see that there is a very high standard, and if you have all these teachers of this network communicating with with each other, of course, and also seeing problems and how do you tackle this problem? How do you solve this and that? Uh, this is a, uh, just a great uh, development and they help spread this idea within their organizations as well. Okay, thank you for this. And last, uh, I would like to ask you a bit more about the future outlook. Like, how do you plan to develop this uh, platform in the future? Yes, uh, so um, we talked about digital competences of teachers that they have to obtain to be able to use uh, technology uh, in classroom situation. Uh, and then this is actually, and then we have a third part, which is uh, the organizational development uh, itself. Does uh, the organization of the school provide not only infrastructure, but also the idea of a certain degree of openness so a teacher can use all of he, he or she wants. Uh, but the main point is then the, the classroom work itself. And what we found out uh, is like uh, the expression content is king. If you already have prepared learning scenarios, uh, that a teacher can use right away, uh, then that's a very good entry point. And here we have uh, this so-called e-tapas concept, which are small learning nuggets. Um, and we try to emphasize on this. So the teachers themselves become producers of these e-tapas and share it with other teachers. So actually it's an OER in initiative, and that's uh, our plan in the next step to get this content, this didactical content to all teachers for orientation purposes, but also for using classroom work. Thank you very much, Andreas. It was really lovely to meet you today, and I wish you a great time, Moodle Mood Global, and thanks again. Thank you.